Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. Let's talk about Francine, the impacts on the Gulf Coast and eventually maybe some rainfall for the Carolinas. Getting a lot of questions about this, so let's dive right into it. And you can see uh, the circulation in the western Gulf of Mexico. Hurricane hunters are out there. It is gaining strength and organization, but there's a whole bunch of moisture out ahead of it. I'm going to turn on some of the tracks here just so you could see the track taking it up towards the central Gulf Coast of uh, Louisiana and then up towards Memphis by the weekend. So a lot of folks get caught up in the wind speeds. The categories of these storms is only based on wind speeds. It does not take into account all the other impacts. And I can tell you, this is an area that is very storm surge prone. So areas on the Gulf Coast here, you will see high water. Flooding is our number one concern by a landslide here. We're talking huge amounts of water coming in because right now we've already got onshore wind. Okay, so we're pushing each high tide in. The low tides can't go out, so the subsequent high tides just get higher and higher. On top of that, we're getting rainfall over southeast Louisiana and central Louisiana. That water's trying to flow back out through canals, bayous, and the lakes, and so it can't go out. So water becomes the biggest issue. So don't get caught up in this as, oh, it's only a Cat 1 or Cat 2 or Tropical Storm even. It's not about that. That's only wind. We're talking about rainfall storm surge and flooding those are not incorporated into the category of hurricane so if you're in a flood prone area please take this storm very seriously this is going to have a huge storm surge risk for parts of louisiana now as it moves inland one of the things we're going to watch is going to weaken it's going to pull in moisture and we're going to see some rain here in the carolinas and let me quickly show you the track from the hurricane center i'm going to refresh this just to see if they update it but you kind of see the track there and what i've been looking at is what we call the super ensemble so you see the track back to the west pretty good confidence in this but because of the rotation counterclockwise flow there is going to be moisture aimed at the mountains of southwestern north carolina and the upstate of south carolina this is an area we call upslope this produces a lot of rainfall so let's go back and show you the future cast on what this could mean for the carolinas by the weekend so let's dive into the future cast. You can see this is one model, by the way, just a general idea. We're not going to get too caught up in the details. It's about the overall pattern. But what you can see that landfall there in central Louisiana, you see the flow of moisture wrapping around this system. You see that flow coming into the Carolinas dry initially. So we're not looking at rain. Again, this is tomorrow um, in the evening hours. We'll go into Thursday. Um, Thursday night, possibly some moisture creeping up here, but it's really Friday probably when we see some rain. So the system's over near Memphis, but you see the plume of moisture here. And what I mean about upslope, this is low level warm, humid air getting ramped into the mountains. And this is an area where we could see extremely heavy rain over an extended period of time, but it's scattered. This is no washout like all day rain any one of these days. There's gonna be waves of rain this weekend. So this is going into Friday. You see the scattered showers. Let's go into Saturday. Saturday actually looks like a little uptick in rain. And to, to me right now, Saturday's the day, if I were to be concerned about some heavier rain, especially for areas of the upstate, I'm, I'm thinking of areas from Asheville to Knoxville to maybe even Hickory, Morganton, um, Shelby, Greenville, Spartanburg. This area right here where we're seeing the heavy rain coming in, this would be potentially because of this moisture plume coming in. So we'll watch it where this access is. But for eastern North Carolina and areas northeast, there might be little to no rain at all. Um, as this kind of sits to the southwest of you. So let's take a look at some of the totals. So for the Carolinas, the rainfall totals will be kind of interesting to watch. We'll go through time. We get to uh, basically through Friday morning, not a lot of rain, but Friday into Saturday, we start to see the rain. Notice uh, one thing, I'm gonna stop this. This is the rainfall through Saturday morning um, around 8 a.m. Notice around Charlotte, not much, Raleigh, almost nothing, but look at this heavy rain back into the western part of the state. Let's go into Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Uh, we'll stop it right there. Let's go this seven day rainfall forecast. Look at some of these totals back here. And again, remember, this is because we're going to have an upslope flow hitting the mountains perpendicular. Um, we call this orographic lift. So these areas right here see heavy rain and look at the big void of rain right there. I'll real quickly show you some of the excessive rainfall outlooks as we go into the weekend as we're starting to see some of the potential for that rain there. So just to give you a heads up, not everyone's going to see a soaking rain this weekend and really no major travel impacts right now in our area unless we're seeing impacts at other airports. So when you hear about Francine in the Carolinas, yes, there's going to be rain, but it's not like it's severe or anything crazy unless this heavy rain becomes a flood risk for the mountains. That's the one area of concern that I have this weekend.
So this is the excessive rainfall outlook, basically the potential for flash flooding. You can see not a lot between today and tomorrow. We get into Friday, um, you start to see a little bit of a low risk shifting up here, but by Saturday, kind of a low risk, and even on Sunday, a low risk. And that's all because of this plume of moisture, which is something we'll be able to track in real time once we see it develop. So areas in the mountains, yes, this is something to watch for the weekend, but if you're in the Piedmont East, this is kind of a non-issue. We need the rain, so we'll take it. But for the mountains and foothills, this is something to watch this weekend for potentially some flash flooding. Of course, I will post updates throughout the week, and we'll talk more about the impacts from Francine on the Gulf Coast and the indirect impacts here coming up over the next couple of days.